Welcome back, everyone. This time of year, we spend a lot of time with relatives, many times hearing stories about where we came from. Mitch Weber found one local family who can trace their ancestors back to the very first Thanksgiving. Making Thanksgiving dinner is a tradition in many households. The first Thanksgiving, our family was part of it. The proof documented in a book connecting the Gallup family to one of the first families who traveled to the New World on the Mayflower in 1620. On my mother's side, John Tilly and his daughter Elizabeth Tilly. The Tillys were one of the 102 passengers on that first trip. You know, the stories, we have published works on them, um, you know, that it's really interesting to see. The family history is about more than just names, dates, and places. It's about the, the stories of people's lives. Bonnie and Jay Nielsen are part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Family History Center. The Nielsens help people like Brad research through Ancestry.com and FamilySearch.org. You go out and find out, you know, here's my great-great-grandfather and it's, it's this way one day and then somebody else found additional information that you don't even know. Put it in. Uh, all of a sudden I know something. It really, really does give you a sense of identity to know all about the people that came before you. Leah Filson is with the General Society of Mayflower Descendants, which has almost 30,000 active members. Everybody who is a member of the society has, been, has proven descent from a passenger on the Mayflower. The society's genealogists do a lot of research, but Lee says DNA could soon make their jobs a lot easier. Obviously, they don't have the DNA from the pilgrims, but they do have DNA from all of the lineal people that go down directly. A test that could someday give Thanksgiving traditions a new meaning. In Kansas City, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.